So now we have one more number pattern and we will try to solve it. So what is the first step? Yeah, first step is finding the differences. So now let's do that. Second term minus first term will be 4 minus 1. This will be equal to 3. And third term minus second term that is 11 minus 4. This is equal to 7. Right? And then we have 29 which is the fourth term minus 11. And this gives us 18. And then we have 76 minus 29. This will give you 16 minus 9, 7. And 6 minus 2, 4. Then we have 199 minus 76. And this gives us 9 minus 6, 3. 9 minus 7, 2 and 1, 123. So it looks a little bit complicated series. No problem. Let's see what happens. This 3 is actually 3 times 1, which is the first term. Then we have this 7. This 7 is actually 2 times 4 minus 1. Can it be written like this? This 4 is the second term. 2 times 4 minus 1. Right? And the next difference is 18. It can be written as 2 times 11. That is 22 minus 4. Isn't it? Yes. And similarly, here we have difference as 47. 2 times 29 minus something. Let's try it. So 2 times 29 is 2 nines are 18. 1 carried forward. 2 twos are 4. Plus 1, 5. 58. And this is 47. So yes, it can be written as 2 times 29 minus 11, right? And what about this 123? Here we have 76. So 2 times 76 is 2 6 are 12, 1. 2 7 are 14 plus 1, 15. That is 152. And if we subtract, see here we were subtracting 11 which was the previous term of 29, right? So if we subtract 29 from 152, let's see what we get. 12 minus 9, 3, 4 minus 2, 2, 1, 123, right? So this can be written as 2 times 76 minus 29. Right? So now if we see carefully, this is what? This first is not following any logic. But after that, if we see the third term minus the second term, T3 minus T2 is giving us 2 times T2, right? 2 times T2 minus, what is this? This is the first term, right? Isn't it? Similarly, if we see this carefully, this is the fourth term, 29 is the fourth term. That means T4 minus 11 is the third term. T3 is giving us 2 times T3. minus 4, that is the second term, right? And here if we see, we can write T5 minus T4, 76 minus 29 is 
2 times t4, 2 multiplied by 29, minus 11, that is t3, right? Similarly, this is also t6 minus t5 is equal to 2 times t5 minus t4, right? So, what logic can be concluded from here? If we see these expressions carefully, what can we write? We can write Tn minus Tn minus 1 is equal to 2 times Tn minus 1 minus Tn minus 2. Isn't it? If you see carefully, third term minus second term is 2 times second term minus the first term, right? As we have found from here. From here, we can write Tn is equal to, this is minus Tn minus 1. So, if we add Tn minus 1, this Tn minus 1 will get cancelled. And on the right hand side, we will have 3 Tn minus 1 minus t n minus 2, right? Yes. But what about the first two terms? If we see these two terms, they are constant, right? So, these two terms can be written as it is. That is t1 is equal to 1 and t2 is equal to 4, right? So, if we assume that these two terms are constant, all other terms are following this logic, isn't it? Yes. There is one more reason behind these two terms being constant is in calculating the nth term, we are referring two previous terms, right? We are referring n minus first term and n minus second terms. That means we can calculate from third term onward only. That is the reason the first two terms have to be constant. Right? That means this is the generalized expression for the series where first two terms are constant and third term onwards can be calculated from here. Right? So, how to calculate this term? The term after 521. We will calculate using this formula since this 521 is the seventh term. So, we have to find the eighth term. So, T8 will be 3 times t7 minus t6, right? So, what is t7? It is 521. So, 521 multiplied by 3 minus t6, which is 199. So, let's see what we get. This will be 3 1s are 3, 3 2s are 6. And 3 5 is a 15 minus 199. 1 5 6 3 minus 199. We can do it directly by subtracting 200 and then adding 1. So that should give us 1 3 6 4. Otherwise, also let's calculate in a normal fashion. So, if we take 1 from the tens place, this will become 5 and this will become 13. 13 minus 9 is 4, right? And 5 is smaller than 9. So, we will take 1 from here. So, this will become 4 and this will become 15. 15 minus 9 will give you 6. 4 minus 1 is 3 and 1. So, this way also we are getting the same answer. So, this term will be 1, 3, 6, 4, right? So, this is the solution for this pattern and this is the generalized format for the pattern.